Graham, should people volunteer? Would you recommend volunteering to other people? Strongly recommend it to other people. Everybody should follow it. Because it's beneficial to society, not only to the person you're befriending, but to you also. It gives you a great deal of satisfaction to know that you've helped somebody that's worse off than you are. And it only takes an hour a week. You know, everybody can spend a spare an hour. No matter how busy they are, everybody can spare an hour. You know, a chat to somebody who's completely isolated. Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. Um, but what kind of person would benefit the best? What kind of person would be, would, um, are you looking for? Are you looking for, um, what to volunteer? Say, a, someone who is retired? No. Or, um, it could be, um, someone who, um, is also already involved in the community? No. Or could it be um, someone who works in the city? Anybody can volunteer. No matter what you do, no matter what age you are, everybody can volunteer. Well, the people, I think the people who would benefit the most would be younger people, to be honest with you. Because then they can see, you know, um, what am I going to say? Uh, if a younger person was to volunteer, I think they would get the most out of it, a young person. And I think then the client that they are volunteering to help would also get the most out because it shows that the younger, younger generation that can then communicate with the older generation. But there again, a client can be any age from 5 to 95. Hmm. The, idea, the idea of, of, a co of the coordinator who, who works all together is to try and match people together. You know, so I mean, take for instance myself, I was in the, in the forces for 26 years. So, you know, when she when, when I'm being matched, try to match with somebody who's either been in the forces, who comes from the forces background, or that type of, that type of thing. So that you've got something in common initially with the person you're befriending. Hmm. But it can be, anybody can do it. The more younger people that get involved in volunteering, the better. How do I find a volunteering group? Well, the easiest thing is on a PC, isn't it? You just put volunteering in it and up it chucks it all. But the, the, the ideal people to go to actually is your local authority. Well, I suppose you have to ask, really, is... Um Volunteering just for Christmas? Uh, no. Volunteering is 365 days a year. Because you see all the. Um, the oh, yeah, I know, I know. I know they, what you're saying. Say, you, see, um, you see all the adverts coming on the television give this for this, give that for that, give that. And it gives you the impression the only thing that charities are interested in is Christmas. That's the impression you get. Otherwise, then, you know, you don't hear from them all the year round. That's why it's best to forget the big charities. Forget them. It's to go to your local authority and they will put you in contact with local organisations that need help. What department would, would deal with that? Well, you, the, I'm not quite sure which department it would be. Um, to be if you were to go to your... Local authorities at the information desk and said, I'd like to speak to somebody about volunteering. They'll put you in contact. You know, it probably won't be somebody in the, within the local authority itself, but they'll have a list of charities. And they'll say, well, there's a list of charities. You make your choice and you phone up the charity and say, oh, I'd like to do some charity work. Can I help you? Or, or, and they'll say, well, what type, you know, they might ask you what type of skills you've got, you know, depending on what, the, what their needs are. Mm. Mm. Your first part of call is your local authority. And what if you think that you have um, some skills? I personally don't have uh, many skills, but um, one thing which I'm practicing at the moment is interviewing, interviewing you. So we went to a um, Christmas dinner yesterday, yeah. and one of the people we were talking to was um, a local nurse. 
and I was explaining to her about um, I was making um, some videos and um, it would be nice to um, video other people with different conditions for them to have a voice and um, my um, my brain to the table in other words was the technical side of um, um, recording yeah. and um, making short videos. Would you say it was um, um, also um, some people might have that, uh, special um, qualifications right. or gifts they personally could do? Perhaps they could sing well, or um, they could um, good at um, uh, public meetings. Or um, the well, one, one of the ideal ones is Many Sheds, which is a charity that's set up by retired people, and they do things like woodwork, building. So if you've got if you're a disabled person, or and you need something doing in your house, which can be done, say within a couple of hours, you know you contact people like Men in Sheds, and they'll come along and do it for you. You know those, those sort of things. So it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, some in, in your light, just meeting people. Yeah. It could be something which um, could be a retired carpenter. Well, I mean, or, you, um, I mean, look at another organisation that does a, a lot of uh, charity work as a citizens advice bureau. You know, people have got financial problems or whatever problems they are, they go to the citizens advice bureau. Yeah, certain members of the staff are full time, but the majority of people there are. Are volunteers and they volunteer their time to help other people sort out their problems. Mm -hmm. So that you know, there's lots of things people can do. And like I said earlier on, all it has to be is an hour. You know, mm -hmm. you know, it could, you know it could be just taking them out for a walk. You know, driving them to the shops, helping them with their shopping. You know, those sort of things. And just sitting down having a cup of tea and chatting. And you say the local council um, would help? Yeah. I'm not saying the local council would help. They would point you in the right direction. You know, uh, because they, they don't... Local authorities tend not to deal with people like myself, but they will deal with organisations. You know, so they would point you to an organisation and the organisation will then take it up. Same as they did with me. I went to the local authority. Uh, and they put me in touch with Crossroads. And then I was handed over to Crossroads and that's where my coordinator took over. And I had the interview with them. And that's how it, that's how it works. Good. There are other videos about Graham that you might like to watch on our YouTube channel video 108. How Graham himself had a stroke. The Befriender. How Graham became a befriender. Do you spread happiness? Describe your typical week. What other do and don'ts? Do you get feedback? Should people volunteer? How do I find out about volunteering? Thank you for watching.